I am here in uh, Northern California in Scotts Valley and I am attending the Unwrapped conference which is hosted by Upstream Solutions and we've just been hearing from amazing scientists all day. My brain is pretty fried, everybody's pretty fried, um, but we're in such a beautiful place it's so nice to uh, be able to leave the conference and just breathe this beautiful fresh air. Um, so interesting, uh, something that we learned today is that we eat a credit card worth of microplastics every single week. Um, so this is a new study by University of Victoria just released this week and um, they're studying uh, plastics in shellfish, uh, in all sorts of food and drink and, and all all sorts of things that we consume um, and the highest levels of plastics were in shellfish, beer and salt. Um, while then water actually contained the largest source of plastics ingested globally um, and that was both bottled water and tap water um, which is pretty freaky. The person's average microplastic consumption for an entire year was more for those who drank bottled water um, and this is because uh, Microplastics are, are pieces of plastic under five millimeters in diameter, so smaller than a sesame seed, um, and it comes from the degra degradation of larger plastics. So degradation is degrading, breaking apart into these tiny little plastics. Um, and uh, this can also happen, uh, microplastics can shed or break off um, just through friction. Um, of your water bottle or plastic packaging or synthetic clothes um, or just touching this, bending it, rattling it. Um, so that's pretty rattling itself, isn't it? It's, it's a lot to take in. So again, call to action is to just <clears throat> try and avoid single-use plastics where you can, um, try and avoid plastic packaging, um, trying to use glass and metal which are infinitely recyclable um, and have better recycling systems in place at the moment so uh, those are a few takeaways for you um, bringing your reusables trying to have uh, zero plastic around the things that you're drinking and eating uh, as much as you can shopping local farmers markets making your own so the lifestyle that I live I'm pretty excited that I, I um, have so much to offer in this space so uh, if you haven't already definitely subscribe to learn more about how you can keep yourself safe and your family and your friends and your future generations because it's really what we're talking about here it's a whole wide world problem all right have a beautiful day